Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're taking a look at the touchpad, which is the new tablet from HP. In this episode, we're going to talk about setting up your HP touchpad for the very first time. Now, when you get it out of the box, of course, you will have to do a little bit of setup to make it your own. You press the power button to turn it on. You'll see the boot up logo. And then eventually, it'll ask you the language that you want to use with the touchpad. Choose the one you want. Then choose the region that you'll be using the thing in. In this case, we're going to choose Canada. Then it'll ask you to confirm your choices, so hit confirm if everything is okay. You'll then be asked to connect to a Wi-Fi hotspot, so if you have a Wi-Fi network in your area, you can connect to it here. Choose your network from the list, and then enter in your password. You'll then get a list of terms and conditions. Once those appear, you click on the checkbox that says you agree, and then you'll click on the button that says agree. Then you'll be asked to sign into your WebOS account or to create one from scratch. If you already have a pre, you'll be asked to enter your user authentication here, your username and password, and then it'll bring some of your settings over. Otherwise, you'll enter in your new information here and then sign up for the account. You'll enter your account details and then you'll hit create to create the account. You'll get an email with the information on this to confirm and to activate your account, you will go over to your email browser and then click confirm. You'll be asked then to agree to terms for use of Google on the device. And then once you've done that, the touchpad will reboot and when it reboots, it'll be ready for use. Well, that's a look at setting up your touchpad for the first time. For more information on using the touchpad, don't forget to check out the other parts in this series. And for the show notes for this and the other parts in the series, you can go to butterscotch.com.